A recent health report puts Arizona as second in all the U.S. when it comes to a sharp increase of teens and young adults using vapes and e-cigarette products. Our Brooke Chow joins us in studio this morning. Brooke, you're sharing part of a conversation with one medical research expert. They've been looking at what this trend means for young adults and why Arizona might be unique versus other states. Tell us more. Yeah, well, e-cigarettes actually were introduced in the U.S. market in 2007, so they have been around a while and they have steadily gained that popularity. And that's why I spoke with a researcher who shares that e-cigarette use for young adults ages 18 to 24 increased 192 percent in the state of Arizona from 2016 to 2022. And like Jose just mentioned, that's the second highest spike in the nation, and he doesn't expect this to slow down anytime soon. Now we're kind of having to hit the reset button and do that all again with e-cigarettes. And I think, you know, we're kind of going through that phase right now where e-cigarettes are seen as, as kind of cool, um, you know, kind of what we saw with traditional cigarettes uh, decades ago. So. Now the research team studied data from the CDC to determine where in the U.S. e-cigarette use has been increasing, but also why the rates are so high for us here in Arizona. So, for example, unlike traditional cigarettes, there's currently no special tax placed on e-cigarettes and the cartridges. Also in our state, you could buy candy flavored vapes, fruit chewing tobacco and methanol cigarettes, whereas in other states that is illegal as well. So it is important to note that places like Cottonwood, Douglas, Flagstaff, and even here in Tucson, we've already raised that purchasing age to 21, but there still are other cities in our state like Phoenix where that purchasing age remains 18. For now in the studio, I'm Brooke Chow. Kagan 9 on your side.